Hey guys, it's been a while, I know. Welcome to Coffee Chalk with Dion. I am um, an independent chocolate designer. I've been doing this since July, and um, I love creating beautiful things for my home and working on shirts and things like that, um, mugs, and other anything really, because if it's got a blank space on it, you can chalk on it or you can ink on it if it's a fabric or a textile. So today I'm going to be showing you our um, vintage truck. This is the original vintage truck. They have a brand new vintage truck out that can go both ways, so forward or backward. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to be putting together a quick little St. Patrick's Day truck. And um, I have the these are actually considered retire transfers. I also have the uh, vintage truck add-on for spring, and it has this cute leprechaun with a pot of gold, and this little shamrock for the car, for the truck door. So I'm gonna be using this transfer, and also, hey, Annis, with uh, leprechaun wishes. Now this is, like I said, a retire transfer, but I need something <clears throat> for my mantle, and I don't have, anything St. Patrick's Day for Chalk Couture. This is like the only St. Patrick's Day thing I could find. Um, unfortunately, he is retired, but they have some other things out now. There is a, a St. Patty's Day um, transfer out right now. Now, if you're new to Chalk Couture, these um, are reusable transfers. You can use them over and over. The company says eight to 10 times. However, if you do wash them and take care of them, you can get many more uses out of them. Um, I'm gonna quickly share this to my VIP group because I did forget to do that. I kind of uh, usually do because <laughs> I get to talking and I forget what I'm, to share it to them. So let me go over and share this to my VIP group. If you're not in my VIP group and you're not a designer, please um, let me know and type VIP in the comments and I'd be uh, more than happy to get you into that VIP group. Okay. So now I've just shared that there, so now they can uh, jump in and watch how to do this vintage truck. I've only done the vintage truck a handful of times, maybe less, so we're just gonna give it a go. Um, I do have this surface that I used for Valentine's Day. I used it for a bushel and a peck, and I'm gonna reuse this surface for the truck. I just want something to put up on my mantle, like I said, just so I can, aw, thank you. <laughs> Purple is my favorite color, you know that. So I've already marked off on here where I want, and what I did was I lined this up because this has to be your first layer on this truck and then you layer over it with everything else. This is actual gonna be the most color that your truck will, see, will have. And um, I put it on here first and then I layered it on and matched it up to see where about I wanted to the truck to be. So I've already waxed the surface as well. We have surface wax from Chalk Tour. I did put it around here somewhere. Um, you just put a light coating of wax on a surface that is not a Chalk Tour surface. And this is a painted surface. So you definitely want to wax a painted surface. And I just did a very little bit on a cloth and I rubbed it into my surface and I'm good to go. It just protects your transfer from sticking too hard to the surface. So I'm going to bring over this fuzzing cloth and we're going to fuzz this bottom layer. And you don't need a lot of fuzzing because I did wax and um, the transfer is not super sticky because there's so much of the silk screen. See, there's a little screen. We're going to be pushing paste through that screen. And this is a fuzzing cloth, but if you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can just use your shirt. And I'm just going to use my tape as a guide as to where I wanted it and try to line it up there as best I can. I'm going to try to push out, make sure there's no bubbles in the surface. Push it out, flatten it out. I see something under my board. Okay, now I have several colors. I was kind of undecided. I don't have Meadow, which is the current green color that they have. This is Meadow, but this is ink. 
so I don't want to use this but the color that I do have is a retired color which is um, just a darker green it's called rainforest so I'm probably going to use that for the truck I also have um, what is this one shimmer olive this this co uh, color was out last um, autumn the autumn winter catalog this was out and it may still be available I'm not sure if they've run out of this or not um, but it is like considered an en vogue color so that it only stays with the catalog for um, like six months and then they change it out um, I think that I'll probably just do the, the traditional green for St. Patty's Day Annis does that sound good to you <laughs> if you're still there <laughs> I want to, um, I just took out a bunch of colors because there's also wood on here. So I took out some browns and maybe a copper to do for the wood. It's a little bit detailed, but I just wanted to play with it and you're, you know, give me feedback. Yes. Let's do the green. Okay. I'm going to do the rainforest anyway for the most of the truck. And then for the rest of the truck, I could either do a storm or a white. I think the white will pop off of the darker surface better. This is rainforest. So I'll use this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a squeegee and I'm also going to mix up this paste. I've mixed all my paste recently, which it's a good, good practice to do because it is chalk and it is made from actual chalk so they will you know t tend to get a little dry over time and apparently I've, uh, I've been told that you're only supposed to last around six months I've had this pace since November of 2019 and it's it's still good you know it just it thickens up and you just have to give it a stir and then it should be fine I've seen people use much chunkier paste than that, and that's not that bad. I don't know if you can see it. My lighting isn't very good in here. So I'm going to just take a blob and stick it on the end here, and then we're just going to work it. And I always, always use too much, but I'm just going to pull it through. Yeah, I'm going to do the tire screen too, might as well. Keep everything one color. I'm just pulling that paste, pushing it through the screen. I'm keeping my squeegee mostly on a 90 degree angle. Anything excess, I'm going to put back in the jar. And then I'm just going to go over it and take off any extra I missed and fill in anything I missed, like the bottom of that tire. Put that back in the jar and then we're going to peel and I'm going to peel from one side. Oh, I did see a bump. There is something in the transfer. There we go. We got it. I'm just going to peel that up. And there, now we have our base to our um, truck that has to dry. I'm going to put this back on the backer for right now, and I will wash this. This just washes up with um, just some water, and you can use like cool to room temperature water is just fine. And I'm going to wash this up later. Let me just wipe my fingers, grab a wipe. So we have the base of our truck as green. Oh, and I hit it. I can fill that in later with a paint brush. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to give this a quick dry. Chocotour does have a new um, dryer that came out. It's called a quick dry tool because this is an actual heat gun and this will get very hot. It's really not good to use with your transfers nearby too. Like if you have a transfer, you're doing like a pull and peel method. Um, you can melt your transfer. I've done it. I've actually done it twice. You think I would learn the first time. So I'm just going to get this dry so I can put on my next layer.
I must have knocked it right there, but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna leave that there and let it come back to room temperature. Um, let me see, maybe I can take a little paintbrush and fill that little bit of green in. It's not that big of a deal. I just usually wet my brush before I use it. I'm gonna dip it in the green. I'm just going to give that a little touch up. And with everything else going on on the truck, you're not even really going to see it anyway. There's so much else go that's going to go on the truck. Oops, dropping stuff. Now, it's... I've made this truck, like I said, just a few times. It seems like every time I make it, oh, that color's good, yeah. See, so far? <laughs> um, every time I do it, I seem to do it wrong. I don't know, it doesn't always work for me. So I'm just gonna make sure that this finish, like, cools down again. I don't wanna put my wax on, because you do have to wax this layer because it's chalk and it's not it's not a um, like chalk a tour surface I've been told you can't you don't have to do it I don't know I, I think it's best to do it to protect what you just put down you don't want to have to keep doing it over and over so I'm just gonna grab this cloth over here and I'm just gonna take a very light amount of, of wax and I'm just gonna do a little tiny coat of wax over this And that's just so that your next layer doesn't rip the chalk off of this layer. And you can definitely feel when you're putting the wax on, you can absolutely feel the difference between the surface not waxed and the it waxed. It definitely has a smooth, like velvety smooth, and I'm just very, very, very lightly putting that on. Just gonna buff out my other areas around the black. I could actually take my place and tape off too. I don't need it now. Because the next layer, I'm gonna buff out my tape here. All right, let me put this away. Again, this is our surface wax. This is by Chocotour, it's odorless, clear, it's awesome. Okay, now that that's dry, the next layer, I'm going to use the green again. I hate to close it up. I'm just going to leave it open. I'm going to fuzz the top layer of the truck. Now this is where you get all your detail, and it is a vintage truck, so if it does happen to rip off, then it's even more vintage. <laughs> You have it waxed in between. Yes, definitely wax in between. It really helps so it doesn't mess it up. So now what you wanna do is you just wanna line up this transfer, this circle here will go around this circle here. And it's kinda of hard to see with the dark surface, to be honest. So I'm do the best I can do. Okay, that side looks good. I feel like this doesn't line up at all. I don't know why I'm having trouble. Uh-oh, and I just folded it against each other. I feel like I'm like not lining it up in the right spot. This does not have um, registration marks, either this transfer. I don't know why. You want it to line up, but I feel like it's not lined up at all. So maybe I should line it up by the truck and not the wheels. I'm trying to do it by the wheels. I think I'll do it by the front of the truck. Sorry, I'm concentrating, so I'm not talking. 
I oop, I got a bubble. This side. Hopefully this is right because there's no registration marks. I'm just gonna rub down in the areas that I know I can rub down good. I don't wanna rub on where I already have the green. So all right, hopefully that's good. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, so white or storm line up from the truck is easier. Yeah, I just figured that out, thanks. I wish I saw your comment sooner. <laughs> um, I have storm, which is a gray, a gray, and this is the darker of the, t I have a lighter gray, but I don't wanna do too light, and I have white. I think bright white because the white around the frame that's what I'm thinking, the bright white. I'm just looking to see if comment to change my mind. My white, this white is almost done. I have another one waiting in the wings, but <laughs> this one's almost done. Okay, I am going to do white. I'm going to plop this on again. And we're going to take a new squeegee. Yeah, white would be good. Contrast storm would look good also. I'm just going to pull the white chalk. Oh, I went over the wood. Darn it. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> ah, the peanut gallery. My son. Good job. Because I didn't want to go over the wood. I guess I could go over it again. I feel like I take too much, and then I feel like I never, I use too much or something. I don't know. I know that looks pretty messy, but if you just. Get it on, get it covered, and then you can lightly take off your excess. I can't wait to get the creamy dreamy paste. I don't have it yet. I have one jar of it um, that I got. I don't even remember. Oh, I know, I, um, I had to get a chalk replaced. And this is a little heavy here. I think that's good. I don't want to spend too much time because it's sitting there drying on it. So I'm going to lift this up. You want to pull your transfer up on a 90 degree. I have one little slight bleed, but it's fine. And I'm going to put this on, on the backer so I can wash this up later. Again, it just washes with um, water so so far we're doing good so far so good so we're going to dry this up i feel like those wheels never line up right for me i don't know why but we're just going to get this dried up so i can move on because I have more layering. Oh no, I, I don't think I have to layer. I think the next one goes o over the top of it, so it's not actually a layer. Oh, I do have one layer. One more layer. I didn't think to put layering in the, co in the uh, description. I should have done that. Okay, I'm going to show you the... Thanks, Annis. The detail tool. This is um, a tool. It has a very sharp point on this end and then a small tiny squeegee on this end. And you can use this once you dry your, your chalk. Like I have this tiny little bleed here. Let me make sure I am dry before I put my hand in it. I have a slight little bleed here. I'm just gonna knock it out. You probably don't even see it because this camera is not very good. I mean, I'm using my phone, but it's far away and it's hard to see. And I'm gonna go a little smidge around this door handle. 
Now, what could have caused that is a bubble in the transfer. It could have been um, any, I could have had a piece of something underneath my transfer that raised it up. So you don't know, but it, it came out fine. You're not even gonna notice it. There's so much detail in this truck that you're not gonna notice it. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is, let me feel this. Yeah, it's back, it's good. Um, we're gonna do the shamrock on the door and I'm gonna fuzz this. The reason we fuzz is so that our transfer doesn't stick too harshly to a surface, especially if you're using glass. Oh my gosh, you definitely have to fuzz well. Oh, I almost forgot, I wanna wax a smidge on my door just in case, I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm gonna put this on my door. I'm just pressing where I'm putting it. Uh, what do you think, white or gray? Should I do white again or should I do gray? Or um, I do have that shimmer olive. Or the shamrocks. It just says shamrocks and it's a shamrock, which I think a shamrock should be green, but it's on green. I also have gold. Any input? If not, I'm just gonna go white. Gray, okay. Let me stir this up. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. All right, I'm just gonna use my squeegee to grab paste from here and put it on here. Put my excess back in the jar. And I'm gonna carefully pull this up. I don't wanna scratch my design and I just did I'm just gonna carefully pull this up boom shamrocks on the door this one I'm gonna wash real, just wipe off real quick you can use um, an antibacterial wipe to clean off your transfer that's what I'm just doing here just using an antibacterial wipe you don't want to use a baby wipe because of the um, conditioners in the uh, baby wipes but you can use you can use a um, antibacterial wipe I'm just gonna leave that over here to dry so so far this is what we have with the little shamrock and gray on the door it's cute 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 okay now I'm going to move this stuff out of the way for a second And nope, I want the other one. Now I have the leprechaun and the pot of gold. All right. And I'm going to fuzz this. Now this guy is gonna go on the back of the trough. Excuse <coughs> me. <laughs> yep, pull it out, get it out and do it. It's fun. It's cute, it's, but like I said, this, this is the only St. Patrick's I have. Unfortunately, you know, it's retired right now, but they have the new trucks out. I haven't gotten that yet, just yet. 
I need to, um, you know, get some other stuff done here. I think this is, I'm not even sure where it's supposed to go because it doesn't line up. I'm thinking he's just supposed to go on the edge here. Like that. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to put a little bit of wax on here just in case. I didn't wax the white. I don't want him uh, pulling off my wood, my white wood. <laughs> hey, it's painted, right? <laughs> I'm just going to buff that a little bit. Okay. Now, did I get my black? Oh, I can't do black on black. Oh my goodness. I think we're gonna have to do gray for his shoes and his and his outfit. You know what? Should we do olive for Are you back? I was getting a phone call. Kevin, text dad and tell him I'm live, please. He was just calling me. I have gold. Where's my gold? Right here. For for the gold. So I have gold for the gold. Gold for the gold. I'll do gray for the pot. Gold gold shoes. Okay, what color hat? So we do gold shoes and gold here. We'll do storm for the pot. And should I do shimmer olive for his um outfit and his hat well you said gold shoes so i'm just gonna do the gold shoes olive hat so olive for the outfit gold shoes olive and gray I love this shimmer gold. I wish you guys could see this on camera. It is so, this is how every paste should look. <laughs> it's just amazing, I love it. All right, we're gonna do this carefully here. And do gold. This is our multi-tool that I'm using. It has a nice small squeegee on the end. I'm gonna do the gold here. Now you can tape off certain areas with your um, with your placement tape, the same thing that I used to outline where I was dropping the truck. But I'm being a little dangerous, I think. I think I got it. Okay, shimmer paste are the best, however, I don't like the smell. I don't know. I don't smell anything. He will sparkle just like he should from stealing all the gold. Yeah. I'm just wiping this off. And then we're gonna do shimmer olive. For the now see this one actually has gotten a little bit dry because I haven't used it since um, since November it's still creamier than most but chocolate tour has fixed all of their cream their um, 
chalk paste issues. If anyone's having a chalk paste issue, they've come out with a creamy, dreamy formula, they're calling it, which I don't know, I think is a little silly, but that's what they're calling it, creamy, dreamy. All right, now I've got this better. And I'm going to put this, so it's not dripping like the gold, but it's all right. I always take too much. But we're going to put this on his outfit. So he's going to be gold. He's going to shimmer for his shoes and his clothes. Did you tell me to do his hat in gold? Olive hat. Okay, never mind. Looks like I'm using a lot of paste, but I'm really not. I'm just trying to use a glob where I'm close to the, t the areas I don't want to touch. Did you tell Dad? Sorry for yelling. Thank you. All right. Olive, gold, and the last one thing we'll do is gray. I'm going to try to get some more of this off of here. I always clean up my jars too later. All right, I have also cut one of our mini squeegees. I've taken <laughs> a mini squeegee and I've cut it in half. So I can, I really like how um, supple these are. They're like, I don't know, is that the right word? And then um, you can use them for detail. Here we are getting close to the line again. wish you guys were closer like I wish see I just got the gold in it a little bit all right we're just gonna take off the S excess that's fine there's no gold on that so I could put that back in no problem wipe my fingers okay let's see how this came out Drum roll. <laughs> All right, we got some gold shoes. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that looks so adorable. <laughs> Let's get that light out of here because that light ruins everything for me. See that? <laughs> He's so cute. I love that pot of gold. I love that. That is so cute. Now our shimmer paste do take longer to dry. So just be patient. The chalk, regular chalk paste will dry much quicker, but the shimmer will take just a couple minutes more, longer. So I'm looking forward to getting that quick dry tool because it's quieter and I don't have to yell over the dryer. I just keep moving it around because this dryer is way too hot for the chalk. I just keep it moving. And that is so cute. He's a flashy leprechaun. <laughs> All right, let that come back down to room temp. We're going to put le leprechaun wishes up here. Uh, and maybe I should use that shamrock again and put some little shamrocks around. Maybe I'll do that. It's the only shamrock I have. So well, that's, I'm going to let that dry just a second. I'm going to just clean off the edge of my jar. I'll just throw that there. Let me close up some of these pastes. Let's see. What, what else do I need? Uh, what color should we do Leprechaun Wishes? I have Shimmer Harvest. 
obviously olive. I have gold. Leprechaun wishes. I even have copper, but we don't have copper here. I, I, I have frost. We can see your project. Oh, good. Good, you can see it. Perfect. Um, I don't, I have Shimmer Frost, if you think we should do Shimmer Frost for the, the Leprechaun Wishes. Or one of these shimmers or something. What do you guys think? What do you think? It's coming out so cute so far. I'm just trying to clean up. Shimmer, Harvest, or Frost. Okay. Now, Shimmer or Gold. Let's see. Shimmer, Harvest, is like a yellowy um, or gold or frost. What'd you say? You said harvest or frost. Right, this is harvest. Frost shows up amazing on black surfaces. I didn't even grab it. Let me grab it. Don't mind my chair. It makes funky noises. <laughs> it used to squeak really, really bad. So I said to my husband, I'm like, could you please fix my chair? It's squeaking crazy. And when I go live, it's really loud and annoying. So um, he took the whole chair apart. I'm, uh, he made me like bounce up and down on my chair, find out where it's squeaking, lean left and right. And he didn't know where it was coming from. He sprayed a bunch of the things. It's not working. So he took the whole chair <laughs> apart took it out to the garage and just sprayed everything he could possibly spray. So now it has like this, you know, fart noise. <laughs> Every time you get up and you go down, it's like, fart, fart. I'm like, well, I guess it doesn't squeak anymore, but it certainly has a, a farting noise. All right, let me, you said frost. Let me just throw this gray away. I thought it was funny. I'm like jumping up and down on this chair, trying to get it to, do something. <laughs> what a guy. Hey, he he got the squeak gone, but now it's like art. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know. All right. Let me uh, the this we're probably gonna use again. Maybe for some shamrocks. Let me close this white. Clean off the edges. I always clean off. Usually I do a better job. I'll clean off all the stuff from around, get it in the middle so it's not sitting on the edges, <clears throat> and then wipe the edge. Usually, but when you're live, you're trying to do stuff. All right, so. <laughs> all right, let me just mix this up. I got another stir stick. We're just gonna give this a mix. A lot of stuff. Give it a little squirt. This is our fine mist sprayer. Right there, fine mist sprayer. And um, this has distilled water in it. If you're ever putting water in your paste, you want to use distilled and not tap. Tap water can, um, can make your chalk mold because there's impurities in tap water. So you definitely want to use a distilled. Okay, so this is all mixed up. Let me grab the Leprechaun Wishes. Here we go. I'm just gonna pull that off my backer. I was trying to cut my backer without taking it all off. Like, I mean, cut the um, transfers off without cutting up the whole backer. And I cut through the backer. Yay. This should be dry now. Yeah, that's all dry. I'm just gonna fuzz this leprechaun wishes up. Let 
the board, like I said, was already waxed, so I'm not worried about the rest of the board. And we're going to put this somewhere. Where are we going to put it? In the middle, off the side. No, because I really don't have anything else to put on here. I don't have any other uh, shamrock. I don't have... I just have these little tiny shamrocks to put on here. So I figure I could do little shamrocks maybe around and do this in the middle because I don't know where else to put it. So I'm just going to, I, I'm not like one of those people that have to measure and everything has to be perfect. I just do it how I like it. If I say, oh, that looks centered, guess what? It's centered. Centered enough for me. And you have to remember too that when you're putting these down, you're centering the design, not, not the whole square of the hit here. So I'm just gonna run my finger around this just to press it down, make sure I don't have any bubbles. Then I'm gonna take my, another mini squeegee. Yeah, in the middle, I agree. Great minds think alike. I'm going to take a blob, I'm going to go down here and just push it through. Excuse my children fighting in the background if you can hear them. At least there's some laughter. But laughter quickly turns to something else in my house. Crying. And a lot of it. Just making sure I push it through. Hey guys, I'm live. <laughs> Just made sure I pushed it all the way through and I'm pulling it off on a 90 degree angle. I'm just holding my squeegee and I'm making sure that I don't have any harsh lines through it, especially with lighter colored paste. You can see the lines. I mean, from up close, you can see the lines really in the distance you can. All right, so we're just gonna pull this up. I love that frost. Perfect. All right, and I'm just sticking this off on my desk. Now we have Leprechaun Wishes. Definitely need something in the corners. Maybe just take some green shamrocks. Just try try to do some little shamrocks. And if I don't like it, guess what? I can take it off. All right, I gotta just wipe it off. I'm just cutting this just so it's easier. I'm just using a little bit. My um, antibacterial wipe, just so I can clean the shamrock for a clean impression. You can use it a few times and then you have to clean it. And you don't have to go crazy cleaning it either. I'm just gonna dry it. This cloth has two sides, a terry cloth side and a microfiber side. The microfiber side you can use for drying your boards, drying your transfers when they're wet, and then the terry cloth side is your fuzzing side. So I'm just gonna dry that real quick with my um, my cloth here. Give it another fuzz. Okay, and let me grab my little guy again. I was just trying not to get too close to my 
leprechaun. Oh, see, it's not dry. I just hit it. I'm going to have to fix that. All right, let's dry the leprechaun so I can get closer to it. <laughs> Oh, shamrocks in white, olive, and cloth. Okay. Because I have a lot of space to fill. So I did three green on that side. I'll do three green threes. You know, everything's better in threes. I'm still not going to touch it yet. Okay. If I just went through that. Oh, perfect. I thought I got the R. So cute so far. All right, let me put that down there a second. I'm gonna wipe the green off. And clean this off. Just scraping all that goodness back in that jar. green and you said white olive and frost wait I gotta clean this thing see I save I, I get a lot of use out of one wipe and when you couldn't find them it was crazy I couldn't clean my transfer like this you know just three months ago, there was still no, maybe four months ago, no antibacterial wipes. And then I scored a whole bunch of them at uh, Dollar Tree. I was like, yes, they had small packs, but I still, I took them all. Just about all, and I think I did take them all that day. There's, you know, packs like 75 maybe or something like that. Maybe not, maybe smaller. I don't remember how many, but I was like, yes, taking them. Let me dry this off. Okay. This little shamrock's getting a lot of use today. And you know what else I want to do? I gotta clean something else off here. Just cleaning off one of my little halves. I didn't I only halved one of my minis. So I'll just wipe that paste off of that. And then we'll be good to go. Just putting these little shamrocks on, squeegee on, squeegee off. I'll come back to that side because this is these take a little longer to dry. That one got smudged. Hey, oh, I need one more on that side. You know, I gotta wipe it off. It's getting too smudged. I don't 
remember where to put it. I think, um, I guess on the inside. I get quiet when I'm concentrating, so I apologize. I'm not talking. <laughs> I have it on my ch Oh my gosh. Which side? This side? <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> this mica powder. It gets everywhere on your transfer, but it will not harm it. I take another white. I do. We may still do olive, right? Olive shamrocks. What do you think? Do olive shamrocks too? I love it. I think it's coming out great. Just those. Oh, you already answered me. See you. I swear we're like. Thinking the same thing. I think it's good. Yay, I have something for my mantle. Yay. It came out so cute. I'm so happy with it. Thank you for your help. It was nice having you join me today. Um, if you are tuning in and watching the replay, don't forget to drop a comment. Tell me what you think. And if you want to get into my VIP group, if you're not a designer, type VIP in the comments. We also have a new transfer for Club Couture this month. It is called Wild and Free, and there is a uh, picture of it on my page as well. And um, you can check out that transfer there. And there's also a link to Club Couture in the description of this video, as well as a link to my shop if you're interested in purchasing any products from Chalk Tour. They are so much fun, so easy to use, and they're so forgiving. So if you make a mistake, you can correct it. There's a couple shamrocks that, um, just like one or two, I think I smudged a little bit and I can just go back and fix them. But otherwise, this is a vintage truck, so it can be vintage everything. So thanks so much for joining me today, and I will see you guys next time. Isn't that so cute? There's my terrible chair. Bye, guys.